but you want to join a sorority? Let me give you some tips first. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. Before we get into the video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your turn, not turn. Turn your post notifications on. Um, and let's get started. So today's video is going to be about joining a sorority and what it means, what it's like, all of the stuff. I actually don't have any notes written down, so we're just going to be reforming this video. Um, before we get started, I just want to let you know this just little disclaimer. My experience in my, in my sorority may be different from any experience that you may have or experiences that other people have um, that you know. So just keep that in mind, everyone's experience and their uh, fraternity or sorority is going to be different um but i just wanted to let you know so with that being said let's get into today's video to get started just so you guys know uh, i am in alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporated um just also just be completely blunt i am not active at the moment it is too expensive love my sorority but i gotta wait till i pay some bills off to reactivate so just keep that in mind as well so just keep everything transparent i joined alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporated when um in fall 16 when i was a junior in college which seems so long ago now uh i have six other uh sorority sisters who joined on my line and we used thick as thieves <laughs> no um but in all seriousness i just want to talk about just joining the sorority um things that you should think about and just know just kind of try to help you figure out if it's for you um and if it isn't so one thing to keep in mind when you're about to join a sorority is make sure that you do your research. I cannot stress this enough. Always, always go into it doing research. Research all the fraternities, all the sororities, whether that's um, NPC or not, uh, and IFC, I think that's what it is, NPHC, no matter what sorority or fraternity or you're thinking about joining, make sure you do your research on that specific sorority that you're interested in. Learn about their how it got started, who were the founders, what year it was founded, the struggles and tribulations involved in starting that fraternity or sorority, just so that you have a better awareness of what you're going to be joining and the history that you're going to be a part of. It makes for just a better overall experience when you already know it and you're so proud of it and so excited to learn even more about it. So definitely 100% always do your research. Another thing to keep in mind is make sure that you go to the events of the fraternity and sorority that you are interested in joining how can you join a fraternity sorority that you don't know anything about that doesn't make any sense so make sure that you go and introduce yourself to the people that are currently members um just so you can get a feel of their personalities stuff like that so what happens if you decide oh i want to join this fraternity or sorority you haven't been to any of the events you show up to the interest meeting you sign your papers whatever and you end up hating every single person in that in that group that is not good you don't want that so you make sure that you go to the events introduce yourself try to build a rapport with the people that you're going to be that are going to be a part of your group and hopefully your new family and new friends because that is going to help you just make the transition into this life life a lot smoother it's going to be so much easier you will already kind of know who they are and how they are um, and it just makes for a better overall experience on both sides another tip for joining a fraternity and sorority is to also make sure that you have the financial means joining a fraternity and sorority can be very expensive depending on which one so make sure that you speak to your parents, speak to any sponsors, speak, uh, go work, go through jobs, do whatever you can. Make sure, you know, if you have scholarships available, like definitely, definitely budget for it because it's going to be an investment and it's going to be a lifelong investment, <laughs> whether that's your time investment or your money investment, like it is an investment in your life that you're making if you join a fraternity and sorority. So just make sure that you are able and you have the bandwidth to to add that on. Another thing that's really important about joining a fraternity sorority is that you don't want to join just based off of what the stereotypes of that fraternity and sorority. You want to join because you actually care about the way they get back and who they get back to in their initiatives. So just because 
you know, AKs are known for being like the suck up pretty girls and or whatever, <laughs> just don't join based off of those stereotypes or avoid a fraternity or sorority because of those stereotypes. Or, you know, it's just like, it's very important to have that knowledge in some way, but it's important to know that like, not every single person is going to be like that in that in the group and like you don't want to join or disregard a fraternity story just based off of their stereotype no. another thing to keep in mind when you're joining a fraternity or sorority is that just because you are interested in that fraternity sorority doesn't mean that you want to join on that specific campus because i will say just to be completely transparent depending on what campus and what school you go to you may click with a different group differently. So say your entire family is your aunts, all your aunts are deltas and all your, all your uncles are Qs. You know, you might feel a little bit of pressure to join either one. And you might be like, oh, like I need to join Delta because my all my aunts are Delta, my mama Delta, everybody Delta, or I might every need to join Q because everybody Q. You go to an interest meeting, you don't feel like you really connect with them, but you connect with the Zetas or the SG Rose or the AKAs and you're like, <laughs> you kind of just think about it like that. Just because you want to maintain a legacy doesn't mean that you have to. Um, that it just doesn't, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be happy and you could honestly renounce your letters so just you could get to that point if you don't really truly truly enjoy it so just make sure that you're you just based on the people on the campus like it could be different and so you just want to keep that in mind another thing to think about when you're joining a fraternity or sorority is all of the amazing friendships you're gonna make it is gonna be so exciting <laughs> i promise you you're gonna have so much fun in the long run if you put an effort so depend like it's just important to make sure that you invest time into those relationships um you're getting a group of women together that are on your that are your co-initiates and you feel like oh like i just joined like i don't have to invest time but you need to invest time in these relationships because i promise you they will be the best people that you know i i have gone through so many situations with my alliance sisters but i would not trade it for the world because it has brought us super super close together and i know that we will always have each other's back so it just because you feel like oh i just joined like i don't have to really do anything you have to constantly invest time in those relationships as well as the people that brought you in the prior line before you like and talk to them get to know them because they could end up being some of the best people that you know and you never know you know it's, it's just it's about investing like i said in the beginning it's investing time and it's investing money so just make sure that you are willing to do that another thing to keep in mind when you're joining a fraternity and sorority is to be active before you join the fraternity and sorority make sure that you are you like giving back you like volunteering, of course, you like being a part of something because if you've never joined a club before and you are starting off with a fraternity and sorority, you might be a little bit nervous and it might be a little bit overwhelming because there are a lot of demands. Um, all of the Divine Nine and all of the, you know, M MPC or IFC, all of these organizations are working towards giving back and doing more for the good of the entire country slash world. So just make sure that you know um like what you're getting yourself into and that you've already kind of established that that group mentality you're a team player you like to get involved you like to get your hands dirty you like to come up with events you like to get back to your campus because if that's something that doesn't interest you if you're more of like timid or you're someone who's like i don't really want to do work because some people are like that like no shade none like nothing it's just some people don't like that kind of life that is when you're going to be struggling to get to really enjoy that full experience because you don't like it <laughs> so one of the last tips and if i go on a tangent then like forgive me but one of the last tips is to have fun it is a such a great experience if this is something that's mildly interests you like go for it i 10 out of 10 recommend it you are gonna meet so many people 
in and out of your sorority, whether that's people that are from different fraternities or different sororities, like you're going to meet so many people and it's a great networking opportunity. But on top of that, you develop these bonds, these like very, very strong bonds with these women that is irreplaceable and you and they are legitimately your sisters. <laughs> so they, you know, they say sorority sister, you know, whatever, but like the people that you join um, on your, on your, your co initiates your line sisters, they are going to be someone who these people are going to be your ride or dies. Um, no matter how many times you fight, it's just about having fun and getting in there. And again, like I said, investing time in those relationships. <laughs> I thought of another tip that you should definitely keep in mind is don't go too crazy with the Nelia, the paraphernalia. When you join in, you're going to get so many things and you're going to spend all this money <laughs> on all these clothes and then you're like probably won't wear them. You'll wear them like when you're, you first join your, your Neo, you're like, oh, I got all these clothes. I'm so lit. I'm excited. And then you never wear them or you wear them like once in a blue moon. So just make sure you are very careful in how you spend your cash on your paraphernalia because you can go insane, especially if you're at a conference or you're at boule. Like you, you want to buy everything. You're like, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Calm down. It's fine. You don't need 10,000 AKA t-shirts. <laughs> we know you love your sorority. It's good. So just make sure that you keep that in mind uh, as well is just to spend your cash wisely because it can add up very, very quickly. <laughs> so that's all for today's video in terms of what are my tips. If I think of anything else, I'll leave them in the comment section, but I don't think I have anything. I did no outline for this video, so it was kind of just free form. This is what I'm saying today. Um, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other questions about joining a sorority, if you have any other questions about joining a fraternity or a sorority, uh, definitely leave them down below. I will get back to you. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, you can DM me and I will definitely answer them. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay clean, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.